Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G versus the Vivo V23 5G and the Vivo V23 5G has a MediaTek Dimensity 925G processor with a 12 GB of RAM while the A53 5G has a Samsung Exynos 1280 processor with 8 GB of RAM. On the back, we have triple cameras on the Vivo versus the quad cameras on the Samsung. We have 64 megapixel main camera on both phones. We have optical image separation on the Samsung, which is not really available on the Vivo. Also, we have 8 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro versus a 12 megapixel ultra wide with a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. And the back of the Vivo is made up of glass, while the Samsung has a plastic back. And the frame of the Vivo is made up of aluminium, while the Samsung has a plastic frame. Also, and the Vivo V23 5G has a completely flat frame, and you can see which gives a more premium feel over the Samsung A53 5G, which also has a flat frame but not as flat as the Vivo V23 5G. On the bottom, we does not have any headphone jack on both these two devices. Also, on the Vivo, we have single speaker, while on the Samsung, we have dual speakers. So, Samsung also has a IP67 water and dust resistance. So, I am really, really excited to see that how is the Exynos. 1280 is stuck up against the Dimensity 925G. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now let's start off with the boot up test. Like always, here we go. Logos came up first on the Samsung and both phones is running on Android 12. We have Front Touch OS version 12 versus Samsung One UI version 4.1. Later software. Let's see who is going to be the fastest one. And Samsung A53 5G is a tiny bit more faster when it comes to booting up. And you can see we have millisecond difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. Now let's talk about the displays between these devices. On the Samsung, we have 6.5 inch Full HD plus Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate. While on the Vivo, we also have a 6.5 inch Full HD plus AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate, no 120Hz. Also, we have punch hole versus a notch on the Vivo because on the Vivo, we have dual from PC camera on the front, normal and a ultra wide versus a single from PC camera on the A53 5G. Yes, and the punch hole is looks much better as compared to this notch on the vivo but we have ultra wide on the front on the vivo also and the bottom chin it is more smaller on the vivo v23 5g everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same wi-fi network on both phones phone dialer a little more faster on the samsung opening up settings again faster on the samsung now let's go to the display and let me show the refresh rate option we have 120 hertz refresh rate versus a 90 hertz on the vivo we have adaptive mode on this phone but i prefer all the time 90 hertz mode so now let's check out some more application now let's start off with the amazon shopping we have exynos 1280 versus a dimensity 920 a little more faster on the vivo let's see the scrolling and that is face really really smooth on both phones i would say but if i see very very closely yes a little more smoother on the samsung now let's open this that is very similar on both phones so now let's check out some games application now let's see that how much a difference between a Dimensity 920 versus Exynos 1280 let's see Candy Crush Sega exactly the same on both phones that's really surprising I'm not expecting that also we have single speaker here is the Vivo looks like with max volume really bad speaker on the vivo here is the samsung looks like with dual speakers and you can see samsung is more better in terms of the speakers wise much better i would say a single speaker is suck on the vivo opening up instagram similar let's see pin out pin out is a tiny bit more faster this time let's see snapchat a little more faster on the Samsung. One thing it is also really good on the Samsung is that when you go to the camera application and when you go right there and this is a mode which is called as fun and this mode is give you a snapchat filters right in your camera application which means that 
and snapchat video quality as well as the photo quality on this phone should be really good as compared to any other android phone let's see spotify very similar now let's opening up the pubg mobile pubg is faster on the vivo let us move faster there let's see at the end both phones is open this game at the same time and you can see but in terms of the graphics wise we have smooth graphics with high frame rate versus a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate and the exynos 1280 it is not really optimized as of now i hope in the future we also see 60 fps now let's see service suffer service suffer is a way faster on the a53 5g opening up the temper and two Temper N2 is faster on the A53 5G and you can see Samsung is beating the Vivo V23 5G in these two applications. So that's really surprising. Samsung is done. The Vivo now it is also done. Now let's open up the tutor. That is faster on the A53 5G. Now let's open Zedge. And faster on the A53 5G. So now let's see the scrolling. Really, really smooth on both phones. 90 hertz and 120 hertz. And last time I launched the cameras on both phones. Default camera application. Let's see who's going to be the fastest one. And the A53 5G is a tiny bit more faster. So now let's look at the front camera. And the front camera it is miles better on the Vivo V23 5G. 50 megapixel main camera with 8 megapixel ultra wide which looks like this so we have ultra wide on the front while on the samsung we have 32 megapixel selfie camera now let's see internet browser speed i am seeing to follow samsung internet browser versus a google chrome on the vivo opening up wikipedia.org same wi-fi network vivo is faster let's see the scrolling and more smoother on the samsung while on the vivo i see a little bit lag now let's open this english same result faster on the vivo Let's see the scrolling and you can see little jitters on the Vivo but on the Samsung it is all the time really really smooth. Next on the list is the Apple.com and faster on the Vivo V23 5G while the Samsung is taking a lot of time. So now let's see the scrolling and in terms of the scrolling wise Samsung is more smoother while on the Vivo I see a little bit jitterness. So now let's see RAM management on both phones. We have 8 GB of RAM versus 8 12 GB of RAM. Let's see who is perform good in the RAM management. Phone dialer, settings, Amazon shopping. Let's see Candy Crush Saga, Instagram. Let's see Pinout. Let's see Snapchat. Let's see Spotify. Let's see PUBG Mobile. PUBG is refresh. Let's see Subway Surfer. Let's see Tamper and Two. Opening up the tutor. Zedge. Last we back to the internet browser that is not refresh on both phones. And cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed. As you can see that and Samsung A53 5G is a tiny bit more faster in two games application. Otherwise both phones is performing very very similar and the performance in the app's opening speed it is very similar on both phones. In terms of the RAM image wise and both phones is performing really really good in the RAM management while on the the vivo we only have one refresh also now let's talk about the battery sizes on the samsung we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 25 watt fast charging support while on the vivo we have 4300 mAh battery size with a 44 watt fast charging yes in the box we are getting a 44 watt fast charging while with the samsung it does not get any charger in the box so that's really disappointing so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G versus the Vivo V23 5G. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.